What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight! Tonight! All right, we're coming back to Nirvana. Yes, indeed. Nirvana fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. This is a request from Samuel Schrock, Nahian uh, Rahman, uh, Nahian? Yeah, Nahian Rahman. There we go. Uh, Bane Cavalera, Clayton N, Chris Davies, Mike Blanchard, and Nirvana. Well, it's not the official channel. I checked. It's not the official channel. Uh, but Nirvana requested it. They all want to see me react to this song by Nirvana called You Know You're Right. Now, to the best of my knowledge, I've never heard this song before. This does not resonate with me. It does not strike a bell in any way, shape, or form. However... There's always a chance I may have heard the song before and I just don't know it yet. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I go, Oh, I've heard this before. Aha. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This was posted by Nirvana and the video has 77.78 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? You ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Nirvana, you know you're right. Cool. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. That's just an overtone or if that's an actual harmony i'm hearing a harmonic line on those years that yeah i'm hearing i'm hearing a harmonic line over it but it's not present like it's not it's not coming forward in the mix it's very in the background which leads me to believe either a they did record a harmonic line and they pushed it way to the back to barely be noticeable or two it's it's a it, it's all ghosting. It could just be resonance that sounds like a harmonic note, but it sounds like harmony. Let me back it up. Let me see if I can catch it. Talk about someone else standing soup against a mouth. Nothing really bothers her. She just wants to love herself. I will move away from here. You won't be afraid of fear. No thought was put into this. I always know to come like that.
love the use of dynamics in this song. They're they're really going to both sides of the spectrum when it comes to their dynamics. They're way down low in like the piano pianissimo range, and then they kick into that forte fortissimo range. There's like no middle ground here. I love that. I absolutely love that. It's very fitting of this style of song. Very well done. Nicely done. I love how it is so extreme. It's yeah, it, it is extreme. Big difference in volume. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, I'm digging the groove of this song too. I really am. I, I'm enjoying this so far. Let, let's keep going. Yeah, that was good. I, I liked that. That was a good one. I enjoyed that song. Well, there you go, folks. That was Nirvana with a tune called You Know Your Right. Uh, this was a request from Samuel Schrock. Nahian or Nahian. I'm not sure. It's N-A-H-I-Y-A-N. So Nahian. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Nahian. Nahian Rahman or Rahman. Uh, Bang Cavalera. Clayton N., Chris Davies, Mike Blanchard, and Nirvana. There you go. All right. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give that an 8.4. Yep, 8.4. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? I loved pretty much everything about this song. Uh, it had a great feel to it. It really did. Uh, great uh, straight-ahead rock song. Uh, great use of dynamics. That's one of the reasons why it's going up into the eight. Uh, the dynamic control on this song was just all over. I mean, I can't even really say it was all over. It was just extremely uh, left and right. There was no middle ground on this. I mean, it, they went to the extremes. It was either pianissimo, piano, somewhere in there, or it was forte, fortissimo, somewhere in there. There was no mezzo anything. No mezzo forte, no mezzo piano, nothing of the sort. It was just loud, soft, loud, soft, and it sounded awesome. Loved it. Loved that diversity. Um, the energy on this song, I think, is the other thing that really got me. I mean, quarterly, it's not a complex song. It, it really isn't. It's a pretty simple song. Uh, nothing all that impressive from the guitar, bass, or drums. It was just a straight-ahead performance. Um, but the energy being conveyed through the song was fantastic. And honestly, most of that was being, de being delivered through the vocal delivery. Uh, I loved Kurt Cobain's vocals on this. I'm, I'm not, I, I know I've said in the past, and I, I'm, I still believe I'm not the biggest fan of Kurt Cobain's vocals. I'm not. Uh, admittedly so, and I, I don't know if I ever will be, but I will say on this song, he delivered. He absolutely delivered on this song. Uh, it sounded fantastic. His vocal style fit this song perfectly. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, I, I wasn't sure about that line that was on the hey, 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 hey. I, I wasn't sure if I was hearing harmonics or if I was hearing uh, ghost resident, no, uh, just ghost residents. I wasn't sure which one it was. Um, no, but it is a harmonic line, and I could tell because I could hear the entry and exit of the of the harmonic line. Not exactly with Kurtz. It was 
uh, or, or Kirk's. It was just a tiny bit before or a tiny bit later. So it was it was definitely a vocalized harmonic line. They just had it pushed way in the back, almost hauntingly, and it sounded very cool. Very, very cool. I absolutely dug it. No, this was a great song. I would absolutely listen to this song again in a heartbeat without hesitation. Now, will this go on a playlist? Yeah, I could actually see this going. I definitely drive into Vegas. Uh, yeah, driving around too. Uh, driving around too, and I can see it. I can see it. I don't know about the gym. I don't think so. I, I, don't, I don't think it'd be good for the gym. But driving around town, yeah, I can see it. Driving to Vegas, definitely, without question. So, yeah, I, I feel good with that 8.4. So, 8.4, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you did enjoy the show and you would like to see more videos like this, feel free to join the fan base by clicking on that button down there. Yeah, you know the button I'm talking about. Click on that button, join the fan base to become one of us. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't feel like clicking on that button, that's okay. I still respect you. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. It'll do me a world of good and it will do you absolutely no harm whatsoever. Finally, if you guys do join the fan base, you will find a bell down there that you can click on. By clicking on that bell, it'll keep you up to date on everything happening with this channel, including when new content gets dropped. So, if you want to stay in the know, click on the bell and you'll stay in the know. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Until next time, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.